1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR68 Cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1968 No S. Dime is among the most elusive of the coveted No S. Proof issues of various denominations, only the 1975 No S. Roosevelt Dime issue is rarer. It was also the first No S. issue of the modern era, and one for which no records are available. It is estimated that no more than a couple of dozen were struck, and cameo examples are the rarest graded, as deep cameo pieces are unknown. This gleaming example is well contrasted and shows no more than a trace of rose color on either side. A single tick on President Roosevelt's cheek is apparently all that precludes a PR69 grade. It was sold for $30,550. 1934 Washington Quarter with Heavy Motto. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS and proven by CAC. The surfaces alternate between untoned silver areas and attractive mottled toning in shades of saffron, amber, and russet, the toning deepest on the date and the upper legends on the reverse. Both the profile of Washington and the Eagle High points are notably free of mentionable abrasions. The CAC endorsement adds further to the desirability. It was sold for $14,687.50. 1966 Kennedy Half Dollar Struck on a Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. Washington faces south relative to Kennedy's portrait. Portions of In God We Trust from the Undertype are readable on Kennedy's neck. The lightly toned surfaces show minimal marks. It was sold for $3,600. 2000 Lincoln Cent Struck Over a Sacagawea Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. A remarkable double denomination error. The first strike was normal, between Sacagawea Dollar dies on a Sacagawea Manganese Alloy Planchet. Somehow, Despite the great disparity of diameter, the coin ended up between Lincoln cent dies, and was struck a second time. The collar die was either absent, or unable to rise above the anvil die due to the large dollar diameter. The cent strike is at 430 relative to the dollar strike, nestled just inside the dollar rim. This remarkable error coin fetched a sum of $35,250. Circulated 1914 D. Lincoln cent. Graded as extremely fine 45 plus by PCGS. Surfaces are mostly devoid of original luster and tarnish spots catch the eye here and there. Main distraction is this pretty massive gouge on the cheek of the Lincoln. The 1914 D. Lincoln scent is a key date in the series, highly sought after by collectors. It was minted in Denver and is known for its relatively low mintage. Its scarcity, especially in higher grades, makes it a desirable and valuable coin among numismatists. Even in circulated condition this specimen fetched a sum of $1,320 on December 11, 2023. 1954 Proof Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR68 plus deep cameo by PCGS. According to NGC, huge leap in proof sales occurred this year, with more than 100,000 additional sets ordered over 1953. It is evident that speculative purchases of multiple sets was occurring, as there were not then the quarter million coin collectors in American that this year's mintage suggests. Most 1954 proof nickels are fully brilliant, and gems of this sort are quite common. Cameo pieces are more scarce than the certified population suggests, as such coins are more likely to be submitted for grading. Ultra cameo or deep cameo coins do exist but are quite rare. This deep cameo specimen fetched a sum of $5,640. 2018 D. Roosevelt dime struck on a foreign planchet. Graded as MS60 by PCGS. Weight of this error coin is 1.5 grams it contains 98% iron. While the expected weight of a clad dime is 2.27 grams. The traditional alloy of steel is 98% iron and 1.5% copper with a trace of other elements. Thus, the present dime was struck on a steel planchet. Presumably, the planchet was purchased from a private firm that also provided planchets for foreign country coinage. According to Heritage Auctions, this off-metal, wrong planchet mint error is steel gray with hints of russet toning. The borders are softly struck, typical for an undersized planchet. No marks are of any notice. It was sold for $2,040 on December 15, 2023. 1927 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 plus read by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. The 1927 S. Cent is a challenging issue to acquire in full red condition, and at the gem level such pieces are major rarities. The present example boasts both a plus designation and a CAC green label, and it is one of the PCGS coin fax plate coins. Satiny luster abounds on each side, yielding orange gold, rose, and faint greenish hues, all of which fall into the red color category. Abrasions are nearly non-existent, and only a few microscopic specks are visible. It was sold for $36,000. 
1951 Proof Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR68 Deep Cameo by PCGS. To an even greater extent than the previous proof issue, the 1951 Proof Roosevelt Dime is a rarity with deep cameo contrast. The coin is completely untoned, allowing for full display of the sharp, frosty devices and liquid-like mirroring of the fields. It was sold for $6,462.50. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as VF35 by PCGS. VF standing for very fine according to coin grading scale. No cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such emission of the small cent denomination. Cents were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional cents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without a letter D below the date. Eventually, numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1922 D cents lack the D die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This circulated specimen was sold for $1,080 on December 19, 2023. 1943 S half dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 plus by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1943 S is among the scarcest of the late date walking Liberty halves in high grade, with most examples seen grading no finer than MS 65 and MS 66. Pristine, luminous mint luster displays a blend of satiny and frosty textures as it forms vibrant cartwheel bands around each side. Liberty's head is well defined, and the often weak branch hand shows partial thumb separation. On the reverse, the eagle's trailing leg is weak as usual on the feather details. It was sold for $38,400. 1970s Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC with 5 full steps. According to Grading Service, after a drought of attractive nickels throughout the 1960s, the 1970s entry is among the more pleasing coins in overall quality. Widely hoarded, as were all S Mint nickels, gems are plentiful. For reasons unknown this issue is also somewhat available with 5FS, and even 6FS examples are possible for the more advanced specialist. This one ended up selling for $1,380. 1936 Proof Lincoln Cent. Type 2 variety with brilliant finish. Graded as PR66 Cameo by PCGS. The Mint resumed proof set offerings in 1936 after a two-decade hiatus. The collecting public was preoccupied with the commemorative craze at the time and this initial proof offering gathered little attention. A small mintage of 5,569 proof Lincoln cents was accomplished, split between the satin finish and brilliant types. The present coin is a magnificent example of the second type, with sharply detailed design elements and surfaces that are virtually free of post-striking impairments. It ended up selling for $21,150. 1943 S. War nickel struck on a steel cent planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. Zinc-plated steel planchets were in use for only two years at the U.S. Mint, in 1943 to strike cents, and in 1944 to strike two francs for Belgium. Thus, a two-year window existed for Jefferson nickel struck on steel cent planchets. The present off-metal mint error displays the deep lavender gray color expected of a steel planchet. The central strike is sharp. The peripheral legends are partial and exhibit spreading toward the rim, customary for an undersized flan. It ended up selling for $3,120 on December 18, 2023. 1967 Kennedy Half Dollar from Special Mint Set. So-called SMS Half Dollar. Graded as MS69 Ultra Cameo by NGC. When silver coinage was discontinued at the end of 1964, the government also discontinued issuing proof and mint sets, and they stopped putting mint marks on coins. Beginning in 1965, Special 5 Coin Sets were issued under the new name of Special Mint Set. These special sets were issued through 1967, and regular proof sets were again produced in 1968, but now at the San Francisco Mint. While the special mint set coins were substantially higher quality than regular circulation strike coins, they were not the same quality as proof coins, and for that reason, examples are rarely seen at the top grade levels. This amazing, nearly perfect, superb gem has brilliant silver surfaces with extraordinary field-to-device contrast. It ended up selling for $31,200. 1970s Lincoln sent with large date and triple die obverse. Graded as PR69 read by PCGS. FS107 is a variety that is highly sought after by coin collectors due to its distinctive characteristics. In this particular variety, the term triple die refers to the fact that elements of the design on the obverse, front, of the coin appear to be tripled, most evidently seen on letters G and O of the word God. This resulted from a triple die during the minting process.
This elusive proof cent ended up selling for $1,140. 1974 Ike dollar in mint state 67. The 1974 will never be rare in most grades, but the third-party census drops dramatically at the MS67 level, and none have been certified finer at either NGC or PCGS as of December 15, 2023. This superb gem displays vibrant mint luster and medium wheat gold toning. The strike is good, and post-strike contact is only incidental. It was sold for $3,840. 1977 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a clad dime planchet. Graded as PR68 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, a visually impressive proof off-metal mint error. Noticeably out of round with most of Liberty and of America absent. Trust and states are partial. The date has a stretched appearance due to unrestrained flan expansion during the strike. Traces of the red copper core were squeezed out from the edge during the strike, and struck into the reverse margin between 3 and 7 o'clock. It was sold for $2,640. 1969 S. Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS-63 red by PCGS. This rarity features delicate copper gold color with slight cloudiness over the upper obverse. On the reverse, a scattering of minor carbon spots culminates in two larger areas, below the right side of the steps and between the third and fourth columns in the memorial. The strike is well-defined and the doubling obvious, especially on the base of the L in Liberty and nearby letters, where it is visible to the unaided eye. It was sold for $38,400. 1950 Proof Jefferson Nickel. Graded as PR67 plus deep cameo by PCGS. According to Ron Guth, in 1950, Production of proof coins resumed at the Philadelphia after time off to allow the mint to produce metals for the military during and after World War II. The mintage of the 1950 proof set was more than double that of the 1942, indicating a pent-up demand for proof coins. Each of the 1950 proof sets contained one proof coin of each denomination each in an individual cellophane envelope, all of which were stapled together, placed in tissue, and sealed in a small cardboard box. Today, sealed original 1950 proof sets are quite scarce as most have been opened and searched for deep cameo examples. Brilliant proof 1950 nickels are quite common, but cameo examples become scarce and deep cameo proofs are downright rare. This one ended up selling for $8,941.50 with buyer's fee.